evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us. You know it, I know it, you know it, we all know it. The summer heat is seeping into our lives and also into our schools. We've learned even some of the classrooms with AC units are still feeling the heat. Yeah, that's because the AC units meant to cool them down are broken. Kimberly Speakman has our top story. Kimberly. Bridget Howard, one student I talked to, says his class is so hot he can hardly concentrate. All he, he can think about is how hot it is. Tell me about your class. Is it hot? Yeah. How hot is it? Super hot. Ikaika Ao just started the third grade at Eva Elementary. As I entered the classroom, it was so hot in there in the morning at 7 um, that I had to actually leave the room and couldn't stay because I had sweat dripping down my face. Ikaika's classroom has an AC unit. Thing is, it doesn't work. To help cool down the kids, fans were added to the classroom. That is not enough. When the administrators are sitting in air-conditioned offices and wouldn't work under the same conditions, how can they expect our children to learn, our small children? It's terrible. A few streets down at Eva Beach Elementary School, the Department of Education confirmed that there are six classrooms with broken AC systems. It says it's working to resolve the issue. In the meantime, they've moved classes to cooler rooms, installed portable ACs, and adjusted windows to let in more airflow. They're also reminding students to stay hydrated. I asked the DOE when the ACs would be fixed at the two elementary schools. I'm still waiting for an answer. Bye. Balu has offered to raise money to either pay someone to fix the AC system in her son's classroom or buy a new one. She says she's working with the principal on that. The DOE does allow people and businesses to donate AC systems to schools. For more information on that, go to our website, khon2.com. Back to you.